Uckies at 60th and Center. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Griswold. And I'm Craig DeGrelli. It's a case that has brought mental health to the fore. Also, Native Americans are demanding justice for Zachary Bear Heels. Reporter Megan Hahn spent the day in court and is live with the latest. About a dozen people representing the Native American community gathered outside the courtroom today, demanding the officers involved in the death of Zachary Bear Heels be prosecuted. Former OPD officer Scotty Payne appears today before a judge for a pretrial conference, continuing to deny allegations of excessive force during the in custody death of 29 year old Zachary Bearheels. Bearheels was suffering from a mental health crisis last June when he was detained by Officer Payne and three others. A scuffle caught on camera shows Bearheels being repeatedly hit in the face and tased a dozen times outside of Bucky's gas station. He was sitting by the rear cruiser, sitting there. There's several use of force policy of violations that occurred during that time period. And that time period is about one minute, 45 seconds. Outside courtroom 411, a group prayed for a greater understanding between the Native American community, local government and law enforcement, saying all officers involved in Bear Heels death should face prosecution. Uh, as Native people, that we count as human beings and that we are, you know, that justice and the investigations are done in the various uh, cases um, where there's foul play or murder or deaths you know, of Native people. It shouldn't be that way because this is supposed to be a uh, democracy where everyone is created equal, but uh, it seems like that's just words. After Bear Hill's death, the group called for the mayor's office to create a Native American advisory board. Those at today's hearing say they expect plans for the committee to move forward in the coming weeks. As for the Omaha Police Department, beginning this June, all officers will receive training on how to respond and better communicate with those who may be experiencing a mental health crisis. Another pretrial conference is set for March 12th with a tentative date for the trial of November 26th, 2018. Reporting live in front of Douglas County Courthouse, I'm Megan Hahn, 3 News Now.